Hello there everyone and welcome back to Cory Loses for the continuation of our Thrawn's Revenge 3.3 preview playthrough as the Galactic Empire. In the last time, or in the last stream rather, we got to Dark Empire technically, but uh, for whatever reason the framework decided to skip over the, uh, the actual Dark Empire period and go straight to Crimson Empire. So I have performed some in playthrough surgery, given ourselves Mr. Palps, and also unlocked Biss properly and the Sovereign Eclipse. You can't really see them very well because they are, they're just like completely jet black ships. Uh, but we don't quite have the money or the pop cap to build the Eclipse right now, but soon we hopefully will, because we are going to be taking some more planets. So I think we actually had on one of these fleets, there's some ground units that I'm going to pop out of there. But yeah, get out of there. That, that didn't work. Yeah. Get out of there. There we go. That should get them. That got them. Yeah, so one of the things that I would really like to do this stream is take out some of the corporate sector authority planets. Uh, I wonder if we should just go straight through Stenos. So do like Stenos to Liana. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's take this fleet that's been sitting patiently up here. Let's get Stenos. Let's spy on Stenos as well. And... Oh shit. Uh, that is quite a few units, though they are attacking Yavin. So this is this is a justified preemptive attack. It's not really that preemptive. We're getting there around the same time. Did they actually send the fleet? I don't think they did. But Hugs Mando is asking, will Hunt for Zinj ever come back? It will come back. It won't be coming back in 3.3. Uh, there will be something kind of similar that covers some of the same areas of the map in 0.3. But Hunt for Zinj itself will be... Uh, for like the the story events and everything that'll be further down the line all right we have admiral rocky road returning to duty here we have milton tackle we have Corey's flagship jesus christ we have a ton of missiles we have enforcer of order we have garlic dread pride of vardos and let's maybe get some fighters from the time falc here Okay. Primary target. I think we can survive this initial volley of missiles and the second volley of missiles. It's like the third and fourth volley of missiles that I'm hoping we can preempt by destroying everything. This is going to be a pretty good fleet for killing what we have. It's asking, is that Lusankia over Oslovex? It could be. I don't know if uh, if they would have actually upgraded Wedge yet. But it doesn't look like it was a huge fleet they had sitting on Oslovex, so it being a bigger individual ship would potentially make sense. Okay, I'm not going to tell you to, to attack like that. You're just going to try not to spin. Uh, it's another victory that's falling apart. I gotta try to make sure that Tackle doesn't uh, have too much coming into his area of space here. But I kind of want to use him to finish off some of these ships and we'll get uh, we'll get the Praetor, we'll get Admiral Rocky Road to do the shield stripping. Because there is just so much uh, so much ion damage coming out of him. The CSA are basically the, the latter-day Mandos. So many missile-based ships, just like the Mandalorians. Do they have a capital shipyard? No, that's just their reserves. Or rather, a dreadnought shipyard, that would have been. If it was spawning some invincibles. So our shields are still pretty decent. And our target selection was pretty good, too. Nope. A. Turn. 
Plus we have the, the command bonus, which is quite good from tackle. Especially on the defenses. What are what are his traits? Yeah, defensive and clairvoyant. Clairvoyant doesn't really do anything when uh, we have no raid fleets anymore, but it's still in the text. It still counts. Okay, there's what? One, two, three, four, five. Five VSDs that are still intact. No, that's six that are still intact. It's hard to tell when they're all. Uh, when they're all so busy exploding. But they've still got two coming in from that side. Two invincibles coming in from that side, and one VSD coming in from that side. I didn't think there was that much more than. 300 pop cap for them. I think it was. I thought it was closer to like 400 ish. So hopefully we're getting towards the end of what they had. And it, it seems like we've killed most of the stuff that's going to be attacking uh, tackle. So let's try to just take out any of those remaining fighters on this side, especially the bombers actually. So let's. We already told you to attack that. Let's get you over there as well. And maybe if we're lucky, we won't lose the shields on this. Let's take those shields down. Uh, that will be pretty quick. And then tackle is still fine over here. Like, you still have quite a bit of damage you can do against the hull. And let's see. You still got shields. Let's go for that. Mando's asking, is it better to start a campaign on Cruel AI or to turn Cruel AI later on in the campaign? It depends on how much you want to suffer. The earlier you turn it on, the faster you're going to be dealing with the larger fleets from it. So if you want to give yourself more of a challenge later in the campaign when it starts to slow down for the AI, give them a little bit of a boost there, then holding off is good. If you want to have a, a rougher go of it from the start, like we kind of did in these campaigns then it turned on pretty early. And Star Destroyers land on planets sometimes. I don't like how many fighters are around here. We don't really have that much in the way of fighters ourselves. Though we did kind of clear them out of this area. And tackle shields still haven't gone down. Alright, they have the two eddy lighters that are coming in. So let's uh let's hurry up on these VSDs and go over that one. I think what we have over here should be able to kill these on their own. And we can send that kind of damaged invincible or kind of damaged allegiance over to the VSD over there. And we can start moving towards the station, too. You can go help that as well. There's going to be those two Invincibles coming in. I don't think they're ever... I don't think they actually did send anything to Yavin. I think we got here before any of the fleet was able to depart. Because otherwise, this probably would have all gone with it. Here. Come towards the back. We don't really have that many fighters, so sending them into a place where they're going to get attacked by uh, the Eddie Lighters, I don't think that's a great idea. Alright, let's go forward a bit. And hmm. Ready for command, Is there anything sir. else that's going to be coming in on us? I don't think so. If they had anything left, they probably would have jumped it in by now. But where are the transports? That's what I'm looking for. Alright. Nah, I dread it. Please go kill all of them. We can kill all those ground units here. 
And I think that might open them up to attack on the ground. I don't think they have that much more. They might have been bringing those in from somewhere else, but I, I doubt it. Here, just make sure they don't get away. You should be able to kill all these pretty quickly yourself. Does Zeneta Pitta count as an Imperial Warlord? Not really. Like, not for game mechanic purposes. I don't think he has the trait. But you could probably count him as, like, a in-universe warlord. A lot of the Grand Admirals had their own little holdings. And, like, the the Dictat was in charge of Corellia, but Petta was generally in charge of Imperial Corellia's defenses at that point. And that was probably more important than the Dictat's position in practice for how the universe worked at the time. It was like, sure, he had the, the political power, but for the Empire especially, political power and military power, you kind of, you had one, you had the other. Okay, there's actually a lot that's making me scared on this side. Do I have any of those fighters left? I guess we have you. And we oh, I didn't even use this one. I didn't I didn't mean to leave that one back. Usually when it's the smaller corvettes, I mean to leave the the Pathfinder back so they're less likely to die and I'm less likely to forget to give them a new one. But with that, I meant to actually use it and then I didn't. Okay, can we get over here and stop having you die? Maybe we can get the Allegiance up there, because uh, we can get Cory's flagship up on this side. Even though these are smaller ships, the Allegiance has a ton of uh, anti-light weaponry, or rather, light weaponry, which is anti-light weaponry, and it can protect us. Did we kill all the ground units there? No, there's still one over here, but I don't think we're going to be able to stop that, that Gallo tree from getting away. Oh. Like, four ground units did. That's too bad. R.I.P. Garlic Dread, but at least we protected... Stenos. Okay, we have to... We'll have to take Stenos, Liana, and then go from Liana up to Oslimpex, because Oslimpex is connected to Liana rather than to uh, Desevro. Well, we won't be going up to Oslimpex, because the New Republic is occupying it. But is this the uh, home? Or Yep, that is Lusankia. Oslimpex has an SSD sitting over it, but we do need to take it. Because that's going to be four Dreadnought shipyards that the New Republic has pretty much in a row. And that can be scary for us for the next little while. It's going to be our best bet with Thrawn here. So we wouldn't be able to destroy this entire fleet with just Thrawn and the Executor. So we might be able to get close. If we did... And we went in to just kill all that. We'd free up all these fleets to go guard other territories. Like, we'd be able to move in on other planets. I think what we need to do is take Stenos. What is the pop we're going to get for, for you? We need, we need to get up to, like, 3,000 for being able to build the Eclipse. I might cancel or sell some stuff. Oh, I just want to sell the Altor. Because that's what? 70 pop cap. I think it's best off if we sell the Altor, sadly.
Mm-hmm. What's the actual pop cap on the clip? Is it 220 for you? Yeah, 220. So we need to be at 2660, which may just work out to whatever we end up losing in the next battle or so. Or we, we take the, the planet and get closer to it. Tactical battle imminent. Oh, hello. They actually made it. I guess we did see his stuff leave. Well, good thing it did. Because that would have been like 500 pop cap on Stenos. That would have been bad. Okay, let's make this fun and put a hyper velocity cannon there. Can we get attacked? It's the Huron as well. Should I maybe move this down to it's the Huron then? Star Destroyer reporting in. Okay, we got the hyper velocity gun coming on that. Maybe once we have the hyper velocity gun, I'll send Thrawn and the Executor in on that one. That probably makes the most sense. All right, this looks uh, this looks like an interesting, interesting battle for us. A lot of Droidica. We're just gonna get like rushed at the start, and then it's gonna be basically over from there. I thought about auto resolving this one. Ready for recon. Choose your okay. Destination set. So this is going to be a situation where slightly heavier vehicles are better, and where we don't want to risk the uh, up. the artillery. In my opinion, they made a sitcom with all the Imperial warlords. Would actively want to play for each one of them. Uh, I think uh, I think Harris has to be played by Ready. Ready. Christopher Walken. Danny DeVito wouldn't be Traden, he'd be Zinge. Destination set. Well, I guess they did already announce that Chris Pratt was going to be playing Zinge. Armed and ready. Proceeding. I guess we're Reporting warlords in. now. On my way. What are your orders? This is a thing Moving we do. Out. Brigade standing by. Scout trooper active. It's seeming like uh, Lars Mikkelsen is going to be playing Thrawn, and I'm actually pretty okay with that. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. I had no complaints with this Thrawn performance in Rebels. Copy. Copy that. Tank brigade ready. Let's get him up on that side. Maybe the maybe the juggernauts aren't gonna be as good for this as I was hoping. They're gonna start just missing everything. Okay, get out of there. I didn't just get you for you to all die like this. None of that. This way. And ready. Over there. there, run him over. Run him over. Yeah, don't... Don't let them stop and do this. There we go. Maybe walking would be pain instead of... Uh, of Del Vardis. Or Harsk, rather. Hard to choose. Okay, destroy the artillery. If it's going to be close enough for us to kill like that. Which was a bad choice for it. Okay. Can you get up to this structure? 
I think we've killed a lot of the stuff that isn't just the infantry. Oh no, there were those were Droidica hiding in the barracks or in the bunker. It's kind of crazy to think of like what some of these shows would look like if they were being made in the 90s or something. Like, you have a Star Wars show starring Robin Williams. Like, The Mandalorian with Robin Williams instead of Pedro. Not that that wouldn't be, like, kind of sick, but... It'd just be very different. And now I'm just scared of the turrets. Uh-oh. This way. Over there. We got Droid to cut out of our starting positions. Let's go. Keep going. Waiting orders. Destination set. Oh no. Oh no. Please don't shoot me. Moving out. That was in fact Corporate Alliance Artillery at CSA. That's their proper artillery unit. We might have to do some uh, some bombardments. Right away. Gonna be well. Rather than doing some hunting, maybe I'll just auto resolve. What's left? Unit destroyed. Destroyed. Oh, oh well. I paid the price, but I it's probably worth it. Worth the time. Oh no, we lost the INT4s. Never wanted this. System conquered. Constructing. We'll find a way to carry on. Okay, if we go to Stino, or not Stinos, if we go to Liana, what's the ground gonna look like there? It might be a little bit trickier. Do we. Like, we really don't have that much left for our army. Uh, well, we'd have... If we have these, that's good enough. We just need the infantry back. Vehicle so, let's get more of those. Maybe some ATSTs. Those are cool. Recruiting. And then let's get some Stormies. And some of the regular ones. All right. That might actually be a nice save point for us. We are going to keep pressing in, but I want to get the Eclipse at least started this episode and take at least one or two more CSA planets. It's It might be a good thing that they took Oslimpex if we try to get up through there. But I don't think I want to fight that if it is going to have Lusankia at it for longer. If they move away, then we'll go up from Liana to Oslimpex. If they leave Lusankia there, we'll have to probably go the other direction. But... I think we did say our, our plan was going to be to go through the more northern areas first. So we take out all these major New Republic shipyards, then we get into hut space. Then we'll go into the remaining Ariadu planets. Okay, so let's, uh, let's move them in. I'm going to put one of you as the pathfinder. Is your duplicator as well. We don't need all three of you. So can you please keep Usankia out of there? Can you get rid of it? Please? Oh well.
All right. Um, this won't actually be as bad as the other battle was. I'd like to get one of the allegiances out of this because once we start dealing with more fighters, especially, like this might actually be good for dealing with Lusankia. This actually would be pretty good for dealing with Lusankia, but once we're past that, then splitting them up would be probably a better choice. I don't think Lusankia had too much in the way of uh, escorts in that fleet, did it? I did also release the uh, the video I'd been talking about of doing the like the shorter voiceover edited down Empire War playthrough with the with the Corvettes. So I hope people like that. I think it'll probably have a bit of a longer tail. It had been a while since I'd really tried anything new for the channel, and I really wanted to try it, so. I'm going to do that one, then we've got probably the, the AI playthrough is going to be that style as well. And might be able to do that a bit more regularly. Reporting. So I think, especially during COVID, more people had more time for longer form videos. Whereas, as COVID restrictions have been lowered at least, people are less likely to be working from home. Uh, a lot of places are making people not work from home, even if they could do it just as well. Uh, that may be having Reporting. a slightly bigger shift to having more videos of that style compared to just all hour plus long videos every day it might be convenient. Ready to Reporting. go. Would you cast as Paul Rudd in a Star Wars project? I don't think I'd cast any Star Wars character as Paul Rudd. Like, I don't know why you'd need to cast a Star Wars character to play Paul Rudd in something. I don't think that's ultimately any Star Wars character's job to pretend they're Paul Rudd. Beginning construction. How big are the fleet tiers? Saffalor is only 158. And then Eddie is only 231. Okay. Not terrible for us then. I do need those infantry before I can confidently invade that planet. Don't know why I sent them to that. They're still sending those back and forth. So that's 27, 20. I think we actually can afford uh, the Eclipse in, at the end of this. Isn't Belderone where that one hot Jedi was at? Yep, Belderone, or no, Nam Corios is where Belderone was. But the, or Beldorian. Here's, it's the name of the planet that sounds like it. Uh, so. Beldorian the Hut Jedi was on um, Corios, and Beldorone just sounds like Beldorian. Construction complete. I think these are actually probably enough to right invade here. Let's get you in. Well, first, hold on. Easy mistake to make, because it is. The exact same fucking name, ultimately. Uh, okay, so we're going to build the Eclipse. And I think the Eclipse is going to be really good for attacking Ariadu. Like, they can't one-shot a level 5 station or a Praetor, but they can do a lot. They can really soften it up for uh, for properly taking them in. And let's see, how are we looking these other ships? Let's not do that. Let's check over here. And I think you can actually move away. You can go to Bilbringi. 
because we have Palpatine here when we need you for. Uh, let's get Garlic Dread, McClunky, Sirocco, Vader's Net, and Impotently Petite Viciousness, not Viscousness. We should be able to have pretty big discounts at two planets now, at least. Ooh, Bang Jindine. Are you really sure you want to invade Jindine? What are you going to be sending to Jindine? That's kind of scary. I'm not sure if it'll be the New Republic coming in that way or Ariadu coming in from here. It can't really be Ariadu. Because... Emberlene is isolated, and I don't think they have a big enough fleet to be confident attacking that. Uh, I think they've actually lost some of these guys. Do I want to send in some some other friends for you? I think just getting the uh, getting the Emperor's revenge in. We will need more pop cap as well. So technically, at this point, I will just get around that by selling stuff. Palpatine. You've already got five. Let's build. Imperii, on hallowed wings, star pelion, strike cruising, Phaeton's revenge, and here on Kuwat we'll get chunk. Alright, I I do want to take a Scrubs are friends. Scrubs is a much better show. The enemy is approaching. Thank you, Arios, for subscribing. Our Fourteen months. Fourteen months total with a twelve-month streak. Very streaky Moving and out. very appreciated. Choose your reinforcements. Moving to coordinates. Awaiting orders. Reinforcements. I was gonna say fourteen-month anniversary, but that's not what any of those words mean. Advancing. Move out. At least we're gonna have a lot of uh, standing by. A lot of info Proceed. given by guys. Ready. All the militias. Okay, what kind of structure is here? That we want to destroy. We want to get the sensor. I think we need the, the support on that. This Mando is asking, will the faction that reaches Dark Empire get the heroes that are part of him, part of Era 4 Empire 3.2? Like yeah, so the regimes, all the leadership, the heroes, the unit unlocks that are available to the Empire via Dark Empire uh, and beyond, like the heroes that come after that, will be available to whichever faction uh, gets Palpatine in there. They're basically taking over as the Imperial Remnant at that point. Because ultimately it means the other Imperial factions are basically dead, so that content would just be gone. I'm sure those heroes don't think of themselves as content, but if they're honest with themselves, then they are. Oh, fuck. You deploy. Gotta try to make sure we don't lose the second artillery there to any shenanigans. Yeah, there will be a video pretty soon 
laying out exactly what uh, the regime change means, as well as as well as as well as uh, as well as the uh, Dark Empire itself. What Dark Empire is going to consist of? Dark Empire One will probably wait until after like World Devastators and stuff are done, because that's a the more interesting new parts of it, or will be once they're ready, but they should be ready this release. They've had enough releases where it's been pushed off to next release. I copy. Squad, advance. Is that just an X-Star or one of the air skimmers? Okay, let's get some scouting here, and I think it's actually safest to attack that. I don't know if we're going to be flying over an AA turret. We might get lucky and hit... Yeah, we got one of the other units too. Oh, we almost got the, uh, the other factory. Get back out of there. Alright. Do we have any infantry on this side still? We do. So let's see if we can get back in here and get some healing. I think you two are probably okay. Nope. Not when they get more out of it. Hopefully that doesn't die on the way. It doesn't look like it is. All right, you guys can continue your push. Yes, sir. This way. Yes, come on. Got to do the healing on that. The IDT looks fine. But, okay, let's uh let's just go and fast forward and really do the healing. Because it's only one platform, it's gonna take forever. You know I, I'm gonna have a lot of money. We'll, we'll just throw some of that money at them. Get another one. Or do we need to? Yes, sir. Copy. I don't think we need to heal that one anymore. And we can probably get away with not healing that one anymore. For some reason, this ATST looks smaller back there. I know it's technically farther away, but it's not that much farther away. There'd be a way to get Dark Luke as the faction that turns into Dark Empire. Uh, that, like, quest line needs to be redone a bit, but once it is, it will be most likely able to be put into the progressives as well. But that'd be such a situational thing. Probably wouldn't come up in 90% of playthroughs. You deploy and then we'll just go in there. We gotta destroy their taxation center, which means the locals should be pretty happy with us. shipyard for us. Because we are playing towards the shipyard victory condition as well. We're going to want to take most of the other planets because otherwise we're just making it harder on us to actually get there. But that is the goal. Okay, do we think we can go in on that? I kind of think we can. And I kind of think it's the easiest time them. Alright, maybe we'll do that next episode so 
Hope you're all enjoying the series so far. For those of you watching on YouTube, on Twitch, we are going to keep going. But thanks again, everyone, and hope to see you next time. Bye.